afternoon everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I thought I would review the week here. And based on a topic, the topic for the week being the importance of the percentage of winning trades that you take. So in an ideal world, if I said to you, what's the most important thing for you? Is the most important thing for you meaning that you get really big winners that have a uh, big runs or high risk to reward or is the most important thing to you the number of trains that you take win as a higher percentage versus the losers what would be your ideal scenario if you had a choice if you had to pick one it'd be interesting to see people's answers obviously it'd be great if every single trade that you took had a big move that was a winner. That's not always the case. And also, sometimes you take trades and they, they don't work. In an ideal world though, the most important thing for me, and one of the reasons that I created my 26 point Golden Gap rating system, was that I, I, I felt very early on that, that really one trade was all you needed a day, but really even more than that, it was about just the right stock pick. That one stock, one gap, one pick would be all that you need, even if you had to take two trades in it. In other words, let's just say you take a trade and the first setup in the stock that you like fails. You take the second setup and it works and then you're up money for the day. It's about sticking with that one specific thing. So uh, very early on, I realized that getting it right as far as the pick, having a high percentage of times where you get the pick right, okay, the actual stock pick is more important than having the big runs or having multiple, well, you know, lots of, lots of trades, okay? Like I don't trade all day, but I'm telling you that very early on I realized that if you have 10 trades, it's more important if you have most of those trades be profitable than have two or three be really big winners and then, you know, seven, for example, might be uh, losers, just you would lose one risk unit and have three big ones. You're gonna get big runs and big winners just by virtue of kismet or whatever, if you're in the right trade. Just by virtue of being in the right stock at the right time, you'll just get them. Sometimes something opens in the morning and just falls off a cliff. It just falls off a cliff, okay? Without even having to hold it to any longer time in the morning or the afternoon. That will just happen naturally when you pick the right stock. So getting back to the point that I was saying is, in an ideal world, you have the right pick each morning in the gap. And you have a high percentage of wins of the stock that you pick that works in the gap. And in that way, you will be a successful and profitable trader. That is the reason that I'm so specific in my criteria of looking at 26 things. And it is the reason that I have a high probability of success in my trades. It's the reason why I'm taking the kind of risk per trade that I'm taking. And, and I have been talking to people about this. I'm, I'm pretty much decided I'm going to take more risks. I'm going to wait until earnings season starts, third quarter. But here's, let me give you an example. Let's just say, you know, eight trades of 10 of the t eight things that you watch, eight gaps work as shorts of 10 that you pick and rate and two fail, that's a winning system. Even if you don't stay in the trade to the entire move, even if you don't get it to the full target every day, that is a profitable system. And not only that, a very profitable system, okay? Because many of those eight trades will work one, two, three hours or some more, even in the first drop, even in the first move, which I call the money move. So ultimately, it is about getting the right pick every day. Someone wrote a nice uh, nice testimonial for me that said, gets it right every day, almost out of the open every day. And that is really true. For the people that have been following me or the people in the room, and obviously I know this myself, almost every single day that I choose what gap to watch, it works. There are days where I watch something that it doesn't set up and I don't trade it. There are days when there's nothing to do and I don't trade. There are days when I like a gap it fails in the first trade in the setup and the second setup sets up and it goes on to work but it's
it's still a profitable train. I still got the direction right in the gap and it works. So that is one of the number one reasons to come with me and learn my system is because most of the days of all the trading days in a calendar year, I can choose the right gap to watch in the right direction and it works. So you can risk a high amount per hour and make good money with me because of the number of percentage of winning picks that I have and it is based on my 26 point criteria. And it is also based on really trading with me in the room because I can look at two gaps that may both rate exactly the same criteria and choose the one that's the best one to work. And that is because I'm an expert in reading gaps and price analysis and I'm watching the movement in the pre-market in the morning or maybe the post-market at night. And I may also be looking at the overall market of the sector of the stock that it's in. And all of these things play a part in my choices when, I, when I'm trying to hone it down between two things, for example, or maybe three things if the rain is the same. But if one rate's higher than the other, it's very easy. And often that's the case. But this is one of the reasons why it's good to be in the room with me. And I'm offering the room free through until tomorrow for anyone that signs up for this June class for the next three months, which is, uh, you know, a really good deal and three mentoring sessions. Because again, it gets you time to pick my brain. I'm going to go over the trades this week that I called or did of the picks of just looking at the gap. All we're going to do just go is go and look at each gap of the ones I called this week for a weekly review. Okay. Monday, I got up in the morning. This is going back here. This is Monday. I liked no bearish gaps. There was only one gap I said that was good. It was a long if you wanted to go long, and it was a long if you wanted to go long to spy. It worked. I called an intraday trade in the room. I personally did not do it because I preferred a short. But I called an intraday long and this bullish gap up in the spy, and it worked. It's the only thing I called. I didn't do it because I preferred a short, but I saw it, I read it, it was a bullish gap, and I called the trade in the room, and people did it. That was Monday. Again, one thing, did it work? Yes. Again, one gap each day you're looking at it. I'm picking it based on my criteria. I'm telling you whether you go long it or short it. I tell you what to do. The rating system tells you, you follow it. That was Monday. Tuesday, got up in the morning. Tuesday was very easy. Beautiful gap in VRX, June 7th. back here because it's hard to see because the daily is so tiny. Here is the gap in VRX. Stock opens, drops, rallies back, holds, drops. It's a short. You could have shorted it here or here or here or here. Okay, this is too late. Anyways, this I did, this I called, this was a short, beautiful call, beautiful everything, dropped, worked. So I looked at one stop, one gap, as a short, it worked. Right there, that's Tuesday. Wednesday I was not in the room. I had a meeting, Paul ran the room for me, I did not trade. Today is Thursday. only had one pick today. The only gap I rated of all the bullish and bearish gaps, only one thing, RH, restoration hardware. Rated the gap as a short. Did it work as a short? The answer is yes. Really the target was 28 on this. It got down to 28.33. It should have gotten down there, but this was still a $2 move for the stock, looking at the high. So it once again, you look at the gap, you rate the gap, and when it sets up, you trade it. And this was my top pick today as a short, and it worked. So here was the first setup in it, dropped. You even had another setup in it here, and you even had another setup in it here. This actually could have been played later in the morning. Again, that's not something I do, but it had all the short entries here in the morning. Whether you played it one time or two times or three times, this was a money move all the way down, more than a dollar, 
into the sell up into the morning. RH, short, picked it, top gap, rated well, boom. It is about getting the right stock pick daily in the right direction to make money. If you do that, whether you have to take two trades in it till it hits and drops or rallies, or whether you hold it all the way to the target or pass the target or don't even get it to the target, again, it still doesn't matter. If most of the trades that you're taking of the picks of the gap correct, correctly in the direction correctly work in the gap, if you get the gap right most of the time, which I do, you will make money and be a profitable trader and you can have a high risk unit because it's the problem is that people lose because they're not getting the pick right. They're picking the wrong gap. They're picking the wrong stock to trade. They're picking it in the wrong direction. I never do that. I never pick a gap in the wrong direction. Every once in a blue moon, I will rate a gap that fails on the day and doesn't work. Then I take the loss. That is very rare. I have a method to determine if something is going to fail. It's called a reverse swoosh. And lots of times when a stock does that, I just don't take it, then I don't lose any money and I don't do that trade and I may go to another gap. And sometimes I'll see a gap that I like, that I stay with it. The first setup may fail, then the second setup works. It goes on to pay for the loss in the first trade and it goes on to make money and be profitable in the day. It is very rare that the gap that I like that rates well fails and that I lose money in it. And so the thing is that the most important thing is picking the right gap in the right direction. Sometimes people say, Melissa, 26 points is a lot of things. Yep, but that's why I get it right so often. That is exactly why I get it right as often as I do. That's why I can get up every single solitary day and pick the right thing almost every single solitary day whether it's in the first trade or the second trade, whether I don't take it because it reverse swooshes or not, it is about finding the right thing. And even on Monday, like I called this buy long, I, I didn't do that trade because I prefer to do stocks and I also prefer to short, but I could have gone long this buy on Monday and I did call it for the room. The focus that I have and the 26 points, which sounds like a lot, but is what makes you get it right so often, is one of the number one things that I do well. It is one of the reasons for my success. It continues to strengthen my own conviction whenever I get up in the morning and look at something and have the pick to stay with it. Even when people are trying to talk me into looking at other things, I say, no, 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 this is the one. And then I do it, I call it, and we play it out. You use the system to your advantage. You don't deviate from it. And as long as you do that, you can be successful. You look at one stock a day. It keeps your losses low and your winning percentage high. And that is where it's at. If you could have a $5,000 trade R as you're risking it, imagine how much money you could make in a weekly or monthly basis as a day trader. A huge amount of money. If you knew that 80% or more of the trades that you took, of the picks that you had, worked, can you imagine the money that you made if you would risk more risk units? Now, I'm not risking $5,000 per risk unit, but I am going to increase my risk come July, more than I've ever had it in the past. So it'll be interesting to see how much money I can make in third quarter earnings season, day training my method, because I'm gonna risk more, and as a result, I'm gonna make more, because I'm not gonna do anything different, but just take more size. I'm going to do the same things I always did with the same trades. It, it, it is about getting to that level that you can take more risk. And that's how you make the money. But you got to prove it to yourself by taking trades on a consistent basis that work by getting the pick right. To know that RH is the one. To know that all the gaps on Tuesday, that VRX was the one. It's not about doing many, many things, many strategies, many directions, many different trades, trading all day, or are your five different symbols. No. It is about doing one thing each day, one gap, staying with it, unless it reverse swishes, and holding the conviction and doing it with size. And whether you stay in it to the target or get out, 
before then or not, it doesn't really matter, quite frankly. But you do have to have money management rules. Anyways, this is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh. The Golden Gap class is June 11th and 12th. It's this weekend. You still have time to sign up by tomorrow if you want, but spaces are filling up. And, and I'm offering the three months free and the three mentoring sessions free through tomorrow if you sign up for this weekend, which is a big help for people. But the number one point I'm trying to make today is picking the right gap is everything. It's a reason for my success. And it's a reason why learning the 26 points is helpful to everyone that's done the class. Have a great day, everyone.